So you completed your first module. Well done. I'm just going to touch on a few of the concepts that hopefully you retain from this chapter. Demand, supply. Yes? Familiar concepts? Why we sketch a demand curve with a downward slope? Law of demand. Why we sketch a supply curve with a positive slope? Law of supply. And the significance of the demand supply intersection tells us equilibrium prices and quantities. So you should be comfortable with these both graphically and algebraically. And the assumptions we make when we sketch a demand curve. The assumptions we make when we sketch a supply curve. And then be able to determine if the scenario changes if, for example, there's a big COVID outbreak, what happens in the market for COVID kits, at-home testing kits? Is that a demand issue? Is that a supply issue? And which way that causes the particular curve, in this case demand, to shift out to the right? So what impact that has on the equilibrium prices of these testing kits? Higher equilibrium price. Increase in equilibrium quantity if demand's higher. And so that's the shocking of the equilibrium. And the last part of this chapter, we talked about government intervention. So the government can impose a maximum legal price, put a price ceiling in, how that impacts the demand supply, equilibrium prices and quantities. The government can impose a price floor, a minimum legal price, how that impacts the uh, new equilibrium prices and quantities, if there's a price floor in place. And when we use this demand supply model to help us determine market prices, market quantities, and that's the first module. So hopefully these things are sounding familiar. Uh, if they're not, go back and take a look again. There's also a module one quiz. So I deem you ready to take the module one quiz. Good luck, and I'll talk to you later.